What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of my channel. This week we pulled out all of the diffusion rags in my kit and tested them. From grids to muslins to soft frosts and more, let's walk through the process of how I tested them and then show you the results. I set up my Aperture 600D Pro with the F10 Fresnel and barn doors on a combo stand. The barn doors helped cut the light so that it was only hitting the frame and not spilling onto the white walls in the studio and affecting the image in ways I didn't want it to. I positioned the frame about halfway between me and the light. There's a table behind my right shoulder in frame, and this is gonna give us an idea of how the diffusion affects the shadow that I cast. I measured the light output by holding a meter next to my face. 2000 lux gives us an easy number to start with, and this was only 25% on my Aperture 600D. What this means is that as I added diffusion, I was able to just increase the output on the light to keep the exposure on my face the same. Not having to change camera settings means that the diffusion is the only thing acting on the image and not a difference in ISO or aperture. Let's go ahead and take a look at the results. First up is no diffusion. Note the specular highlights on the side of my face, as well as the very hard shadow line under my chin. Next up we have half soft frost, which is what I'm usually pulling out when I want to diffuse a light coming through a window. Even though this diffuses by only one third of a stop, notice how much it's spreading to the backdrop already. Full soft frost was a bit of a surprise for me. This diffusion rag has two stops of diffusion and spreads the light very evenly over the ambient environment. Notice how lifted the background is compared to when we didn't have diffusion. The quarter grid cloth gets its name not because it narrows the beam pattern, but because of the reinforced stitching sewn into it. This helps keep it from tearing when you use it outdoors to knock the edge off of the sun on your talent. Half silent grid functioned almost the same as full silent grid, which was unexpected. You'll mostly see the difference between these two in the shadow on the wall. Full grid spreads the light very evenly across the scene. You'll notice that there's almost no shadow now on the wall behind me, and the entire backdrop is totally lit. Next up, we have artificial silk. This functions pretty much the same as full grid, but doesn't have the reinforced stitching in it, so it would be more likely to tear if flown outside. Used as both a diffusion and a bounce, Bleached muslin is renowned for the soft quality of light that it emits. Unbleached muslin gives that same soft quality, but also warms the light due to the tan coloration of the cloth. And lastly, everybody's favorite, magic cloth. Known for a very soft quality of light, I also use this rag when I need to take two light sources and merge them into one. Here's what it looked like when I used negative fill. Now that we've seen what each type of diffusion does, let's compare some of the similar ones. Lastly, here's some blind comparisons. All right, that just about does it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.